I, like the other members of this, uh, this boat, are committed to nonviolence and we are opposed to attacks on civilians, whether it's done by Hamas or it's done by the Israeli military. Um, we also are not in, uh, supporting any kind of government. We are doing this as individuals. Uh, it's important to recognize that the siege of Gaza is a siege that is affecting the civilian population. And that's why we're committed to trying to break the siege. Uh, we see it as collective punishment, and collective punishment is morally wrong. Collective punishment is legally wrong as well. It goes against the Geneva Conventions. But I think there's another important thing to say, which is the Israeli policies actually backfire and force the population inside Gaza to be dependent on Hamas. And when you see a report that just came out by the United Nations group that looks at the issue of refugees, they found a staggering 45% unemployment rate in Gaza, and that the only sector that was actually uh, had job po possibilities was the public sector, which is controlled by Hamas. If Israel were to lift the siege and, of course, inspect uh, goods that are going into Gaza, just like all countries inspect on their borders, if they allowed the goods to come in and out, if they allowed trade to thrive again, if they allowed the people inside Gaza to rebuild their tattered society, um, the people of Gaza would be less dependent on Hamas. That would be a good thing for the people of Gaza. That would be a good thing for Israel. Thank you.